Hey guys, welcome back. Depending on, uh, I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take me here. <laughs> I kind of have in my mind I want to get to the next bonfire. Uh, this door we can't open, we're going to open later. But, um... So this is... Oh, actually, hold on. First thing we want to go... Let's talk to Solaire, or like I like to call him Solitaire. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> like I said, everyone laughs when they're finished talking for some reason. It's kind of weird. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. So this guy normally is going to give you the, um, when you talk to him here, he'll give you the white soapstone, which will allow you to do some jolly co-op, as oh, he says. Hello there. The sun He's only... saying the same thing. Alright, so now, <laughs> dragon time. So at this point, you probably want to make sure your equipment load is under 25%. Um, where is that? There it is. So... Eh, not quite, but... So you need to run, because this dragon's gonna come and fuck you up. Just ignore the enemies. Oh, he's coming. Roll! Oh! Yeah, see? That's why you want to be a little faster. <laughs> yeah, so that dragon we saw on the, uh... <laughs> in the beginning of Blight Town, or Blight Town, Undeadburg, is now perched up there, which is where he will remain until you kill him. The first thing you want to do is come down here, and we're going to open up the shortcut from the last bonfire. Bonfire? <laughs> bonfire. And uh, that'll give us a spawn point for this next area, so we don't have to go do the whole thing again. Which is always a good thing at <laughs> this game. So now that we've, uh, well, our spawn was there anyway, it was kind of pointless, except to, um, it will refill your SS flasks every time you rest at a bonfire. And it will also refill your health and cancel any effects that are on you, with the exception of you being cursed. So a cool little thing for new players, though. You see the dragon's tail there? If you have um, a bow... I'll kind of show you here quickly. I'm not going to do the whole thing, though. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So if you have a bow, you can go ahead and equip that from down here. Uh, you gotta press Y to two-hand it, then left bumper to aim, and then you can see kind of the, the moon of his tail. So if you shoot that, missed. If you shoot that, if I can shoot that, wow, I suck. Have another drink, Ray. You'll be fine. There we go. So that'll uh, piss him off and do a little bit of damage. At the with the the normal short bow with normal arrows it takes about 20 arrows, but if you sit here and shoot that, it'll uh, automatically give you the Drake Sword, which is actually a really good starting weapon. Um, one note about that: you have to have 16 strength to wield it. So keep that in mind too. But um, it'll it'll uh, definitely do do you well for the first few sections of the game. Come on, get out of here. So another note there, you can kick him off easily and not be with him. Kind of like that, but he's used a different method. So now we got a few rats. Rats um, are probably one of the enemies that drop humanity at the highest rate. At least I, I think so. So uh, they're good to farm sometimes if you need just a little humanity for some help. Uh, basically, in, in this game, humanity... Um, allows you to summon other people for, um, you have to be human to do co-op and stuff like that. Um, it also, depending on the things, it's got a little bit of boost to it. So here's one to Dersh, so... It looks like, um... Bam! Okay. 
up here is another Black Knight. Uh, we're going to go fight him now, but like I said, I don't really recommend it at this point in the game. Although you can kind of sneak up on this one if you're careful. Let's try to do it. I'll try to show you what I'm talking about. Where's the top of this thing? Okay, still going up. There it is. So we go nice and slow and peek over the edge. And uh, he's facing us right now, so we can't do anything. But there he goes. He turned around. So just walk nice and slowly. Yep, shoot it up. <laughs> well, let's fight. <laughs> Still not enough to kill. They got a lot of. They got a lot of health in the game plus. Oh, there's a tight night chunk. Uh, that's like I said for upgrading weapons. And uh, actually, we're. Not too far from our first blacksmith, which is where I might end this video. Uh, we'll see how see how long it goes. Maybe we'll go and finish the church. So here is uh, the next mini boss. This guy is uh, a boar. He drops a helm if you don't kill him with the fire. His weakness is two firing. You see those little fire going. They got stakes in them. If you lure him into those, he will um, he will take some some good damage from that. But generally speaking. Uh, you want to kind of fight him last. So, around here's a guy. And the spawns for these guys are always in the same spot, so... It's one of those things where... <laughs> you kind of have to learn the game, and it's a lot easier once you do. Just like the, the people's moveset. Oh, I missed. Okay. Only got a piece of him. But, fortunately, I can cut through his defense. But like I said, normally you'd want to use your kick there. These are uh, luring skulls, I believe. Alluring skulls. Um, if you're actually really quick, you can make it through there. If you don't fight any enemies, just go. But for the most sake, you probably won't be able to do that. Let's finish off the enemies. I want to kill the boar anyway. Come on. I know you're here somewhere. There he is. See, the board took damage in the fire. But generally speaking, what you want to do is get up behind him and stab him in the butt. And it'll take uh, it'll take two or three uh, with your with your normal weapons originally. But um, he didn't drop his helm, so yeah, he doesn't take. I guess he doesn't take. I guess he can't take any fire damage um, for that to work. But alas, we will shall press on. So this is a. One of the first traps we see in the game. Whenever you see like the enemies running away from you like that, always be wary of the corners. In this case, the guy's right here, and that guy, yeah, drops down like that. But anyway, that's a. Uh, <laughs> they stop doing that later in the game because they do it a, a few times and they figure you're shitting your pants every time you walk around a corner. <laughs> and it's generally true. A few more of these guys. And these guys really aren't that tough, even on uh, normal. So one, one or two hits normally will take them out. So we're almost here. This uh, area down here will give us the mystery key. Bam. And now we go upstairs. There's a couple guys to fight up here. Through, okay. And we can uh, we can ledge walk. And bam. Set face. Your yeah, ledges are, are a little bit bigger than they seem, but they're still not that big. So, like, you can straddle over it. It's not too hard to get out here, but this is something you're going to have to do later in the game anyway. There's one section where to progress you have to walk on a bunch of beams, but uh, you guys will see that soon enough. By soon enough, and I mean like 10 episodes from now or so. But anyway. I'm going to come across. We're going to at least get to the uh, the bonfire in this episode. And then I think we'll do the uh, undead parish in the next one. So over here, we have... Uh, I think these guys call these, like, I don't know. 
In terms of knights, these are like the most minor knights, but you can sneak up on him and stab him in the butt. That probably won't kill him with your weapon, but it'll do, like I said, a chunk of damage. Knight shield's a good one. Um, if you don't have a weapon at this point that does or that does block 100% physical damage, that one's will definitely do it. Let's so properly kick and slice. That's how you, you guys probably should be doing that. Trying not to be, uh, well, miss that. Okay, this my guy might hit me. Okay, got blocking time. Oh, one thing to note, um, that happened, just happened to me there too. If you are blocking, if you have your shield up, um, you cannot do a backstab. Just something to note, you want to make sure your defenses are dropped before going in for a backstab. It's the only way it'll work. Get through. Okay. Took the hit, but that's okay. Alright, so your, uh, your first bonfire, I recommend doing this before entering there. Because there's uh, some, a couple minor bosses in there. Um, and then there's actually the boss at the end too. Also, I think we might go human to show you um, to show you the co-op thing. But uh, here we're gonna find our next bonfire, and also our first blacksmith. And he's the guy that's going to. Oh, actually, we're gonna go here first and talk to uh, to Onion Knight. <laughs> uh, start his storyline going. Well, there's gonna be uh, there's quite a few uh, NPCs that uh, you find around the world, like this guy. Um, they can help you in certain fights, they can give you things. But you gotta find them in certain areas to uh, progress their story, because they'll uh, show up at several points in the game if you have talked to them. Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge, no matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> and there's that laughter again. That'll start his storyline. You can talk to him there the first time, or this one other spot when uh, behind that gate, if... Um, is an area we throw later in the game. It's maybe it's uh, Sen's Fortress. Probably where the difficulty really starts ramping up in the game, because they throw some weird shit at you. Anyway, we're uh, going to go speak to our blacksmith, just to kind of show you. And actually, since we have 20,000 souls, we're going to buy his medallion, too. I'm Andrew. If you require smithing, then speak to me. Yeah. Dialogue's not that interesting here. Oh, we can learn a gesture. Hoorah. So we can repair all your stuff. So we're gonna purchase type by charts used for a thing. Buy this, this, and this. We can do a repair to go. And then the 20,000, like I said, for the crest, which is gonna open up an area that we're gonna go to in a little while, I guess. It's, a, it's an optional area, but why not? We're gonna show you as much as we can. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> your flame won't be that high normally. It's going to be, uh, just kind of maybe halfway up the sword. But this has been, uh, kindled. Your kindling carries over in New Game Plus. So this is kindled to, yeah, all the way to 20. It's the max kindle you can get. As you can see, uh, my Estus flax there on the bottom left just, uh, shot back up to 20. So normally you'll get 5, uh, when you do that. If you kindle it, you get 10. Uh, once you get the rate of kindling, which is fairly late in the game, you're going to get an additional. Uh, well, it, it upgrades five at a time, but up to an addition, up to twenty full ones. Yeah, words. All right. <laughs> so that's about it for this episode, then. Cause yeah. See you later, guys.